In college, I did my thesis on time perception, and I learned my favorite science story ever, which is how we learned that bees can perceive time. The experiment is pretty straightforward. A scientist put sugar water outside of a bee's hive every day at 4 p.m., and soon enough, the bees learn to leave the hive every day at 4 p.m., even when there's no sugar water. Therefore, these bees must be measuring and perceiving time. Whoa, 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 hold your horses. What if the bees are just doing something else, like measuring the angle of the sun? So they did the experiment again, in the dark this time, and the bees still come out at 4 p.m. Therefore, bees... Well, hold on, what if they're measuring the heat from the sun instead? These back and forths kept happening until they ended up recreating the experiment underground in a salt mine. And still, people were like, what if they're measuring the rotation of the Earth? How do we, pr how do we prove that bees perceive time? Until one scientist did the exact same experiment, not in a salt mine, but in Paris, and then flew the bees to New York City, where they left the hive at 10 in the morning because they had jet lag because bees perceive time. <laughs>